iOS 26 is packed with new features and changes. There's a lot of new features that Apple has added to this update that will make your life easier and will allow you to do much more with your device. Like this one right here. You can see now I'm on the Maps app. You can see I have like the UI right here. We have the map, but also there are different elements of the UI on the screen. So let's say I need to take a screenshot of this part of the map. If I take the screenshot, you can see now I can just move to the full page and what it does is that it will save it as a screenshot but just the map. It will actually remove the elements of the UI from the screen and that's super useful. Now when talking about screenshots, we have another great feature that actually has made a comeback with iOS 26. So when you go to mark up a screenshot, if you just tap the plus button, you will now have the loop right here. Now this used to be a feature before, but it had been removed by Apple. I don't know why they did it, but it's back with iOS 26 and it's actually a super useful feature. So anytime you need to point out something on a screenshot, you can do it with this new feature. Safari has gotten a lot of updates with iOS 26. And here's one that I really like. You can see at the top right there, we have an icon of a speaker that allows us to actually mute the tab. So if you want to mute the tab, you can just tap right here. And then you can see we have this button, which allows us to mute the tab. So just like on Mac OS, this was a feature, of course, way back before. Now you can do that on Safari as well. Now with Safari on iOS 26, when you tap the, sh the share button and you want want to add a website to your home screen, now you can open it as a web app. You can do this for any website that you add to your home screen. And you will also have the option right here to actually enable or disable that feature. But if you just want to do it, you will have this enabled by default, you add it to your home screen, and now you have a web app. And when you go to the Safari settings and when you go to tabs, you will see that now you have three different modes. So you will have the compact one, the bottom one, and then you will have the top one as well. So you can go ahead and choose whichever layout you want for your Safari by just choosing between the three different modes on iOS 26. And Safari on iOS 26 finally does support HDR images. So better images with Safari on iOS 26. Now this right here is really cool. On the emoji keyboard, if I just go ahead and tap on an emoji and I add it right there, you can see right here where it says describe an, an emoji where you can go ahead and search for emojis. It will actually show you a description of that emoji. So basically the name of the emoji will be right here. As easy as that, you can learn the names of all the emojis on your keyboard. There's also a new icon for optimized battery charging. So whenever your iPhone goes into the optimized battery charging, when it reaches 80%, you will see this new icon. And when you tap on a phone number to actually make a call, if you have multiple lines, multiple SIMs, or multiple numbers on your iPhone, you can now actually go ahead and choose with which of your lines you wanna make that call. Now right here on the notes app, I can go ahead and undo using that button, but you will see there is no redo button. If you tap and hold the undo button, you can now actually get a menu where you have both the undo and the redo button. Now what's really cool with iOS 26 is that now you can use autofill for two-factor authentication codes even if you receive those codes on third-party apps. Let's say like Gmail for example, you receive the code, iOS 26 will recognize that and will give you your code on your keyboard. And Apple has also made it very easy for you to set a song as a ringtone on your iPhone. As long as you have an mp3 file or m4a file that is actually under 30 seconds you can just go ahead and tap the share button you open the file tap the share button and when you pop up the menu right here you will have a button either here or here that will allow to use that as a ringtone for your device and apple has added a ton of new background sounds for your device if you go here you will have now a really long list of background sounds that you can enable for your iphone and of course you will also have all the different controls right here but again tap on sounds and choose now between a lot of different sounds that have been added with ios 26. On the mail app at the mailboxes right there, you will see now it says updated just now. You will either see right there checking for mail or updated just now. Whether it's checking or updating, it will show right there. 
and also when sending a mail you will now see the undo send button right there at the top which of course allows it to undo the send of the email it is the same function as before it has just moved places it was right here now it's at the top of your mail app now this right here is pretty cool. If you have a file on your files app and you have a bunch of apps that you can open that file with, you can now just tap and hold on that file and you will have the section where it says open with. You tap right there and it will show you the apps which you can use to open that file. So you will have the default one, which in this case for a PDF file will be the preview app. And you can choose all the other apps that do support that format. So here I have the books, Chrome and split crop. I can just go ahead and open this PDF file to any of those apps. And a great new feature to the Maps app is the ability to actually search the map even for the offline maps. So if you have a map that you have downloaded for offline use, you can now use the search section for that map that you have downloaded for offline usage. Apple has done a lot of improvements to the wallet app on iOS 26. And one of them is right here, the ability to actually search your wallet app. So you will have a few suggestions right here and you can go ahead and search on your wallet anything you need. On the Photos app, when you go to one of your albums, you will have this button to show all or show highlights, which makes it very easy for you to switch between showing all the pictures and just showing the highlights. Also, what's really cool is when you tap to share a photo, it will actually place it right there at the top and then underneath it, you will have the menu, of course, of all of your options. But again, anytime you tap here, you can see it just sends it at the top right there. And in my opinion, it looks really cool. It basically just overlays everything that's on that album and it looks pretty awesome so tap and hold there and there you go now as you probably know apple has added a new animation and also full screen lock screen album art now what's really cool is that apple is also allowing that for third-party apps so things like spotify can take advantage of that and you can have a full screen album art on ios 26 very likely very very soon with spotify as well and the back tab banner has now moved to the dynamic island so if you have a device with the dynamic island you will now see the back tab banner right there at the top instead of having a separate banner you will now have it as part of the dynamic island which in my opinion is much much better so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are more than 20 new features and changes that you will find on ios 26 beta 1. hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one